So uh, the next is, you know, how prepared are we? Is uh, NCDC up to the task or not? I will say, uh, I'm, I'm not saying because I was there before, but NCDC has really evolved. In fact, uh, Dr. Benga, Joseph, I remember when he came to me very young, but I found him to be very active and very intelligent. I'm happy he's now a director. Yeah, from his answers, you can see the way you know he's doing. I think the NCDC has evolved, has come out, uh, come of uh, uh, age that they've done a lot. What is happening? Why is Nigeria a little bit more prepared than many other African countries? Is the fact that the NCDC is there, and the NCDC had gotten the, I mean, got the uh, uh, Ebola experience, COVID experience, that to the extent that the, the WHO you know, they regarded our response to Ebola as a classical, uh, you know, public health response to an emergency that other countries should learn. So we did very well in controlling that Ebola. COVID-19 came, we did very well. So now that new ones are coming, all we need to do is to start reactivating and repurposing all the mechanisms we put to fight Ebola, to fight COVID, and so on and so forth. So, like what he was telling you, our laboratory at Gadua, the National Reference Lab, is one of the best in Africa. We are doing more things than uh, even some co laboratories in South Africa and Senegal and this and that we are not doing before. Now we can do genomic sequencing, we can do uh, this and so. Uh, if you are, you are doing enhanced surveillance mm -hmm. and you don't have a laboratory uh, backup, uh, it's, it's like you are learning how to swim without, uh, uh, what do they call it? So I think, you know, uh, uh, the, the Nigerian CDC have done a lot a, along that line. But what is most impressive is that, you know, as he has said, the current preparation, you know, to pick this disease early is the enhanced proactive surveillance, whereby, you know, any case at all, all the states have now been warned. Am I, am I, I think you have met all the state epidemiologists and they've been informed. Though no waiting for any disease, any disease that has rashes, must be fully investigated. So with that, you, in fact, this uh, active, uh, uh, proactive surveillance could be more effective than the vaccine. Mm. Uh, we call it the poor man's vaccine. It, because if there is, take for instance, one case in a family, which means that family is exposed and many other people can, uh, the immediate active, proactive surveillance of that family and the surrounding can help more than just having the vaccine to give to the people. Because you can quickly isolate and, uh, uh, what do you call it in the board? Uh, 